Hello there, so in this episode we're gonna take a look at how to create footstep sound effects. Something like this. So to get started, let's um, you have to download some sound effects or in another words sound waves which are WAV files or you can just go ahead and create some for yourself. After that you need to uh, create a sound cue, so right click audio sound cue uh, this one here uh, I've already created and I've named it SC underline footsteps uh, and then you can just go ahead and drag them all in here and then after that just type in a random because we want to have all of them in a random uh, so we want all of them to be played randomly and uh, add input and you can, this is the first method, this is the easiest method. You can add input and add uh, as much as sound waves as possible. So you can just go ahead and create like a sound cue, including a probably a hundred sound waves. That's completely up to you. After that, I'm using this node. I'll just go ahead and modulate her. here. This one right here, this one just makes the volume and mean and max randomized and the pitch randomized which is really important I didn't really touch the pitch minimum and maximum but the volume since my uh, sound waves are really really uh, loud I don't want them to be that loud so I just went ahead and gave it these values right here <laughs> and after that you can just go ahead into your um, into the animation blueprint and then go into the animations and you have to find all the animations that you're using. Uh, for example, I'm using running backwards right now for uh, whenever I want to go backwards. Yeah, this animation is being played. Um, so you have to go ahead and see where does the foot touch the ground so it is going to play that sound. And in that moment, I've already created this one right here. You can, in this line, you can right click, add notify and type in sound, play sound, uh, and then you can change the sound as well. I could just go ahead and SC, find it here, uh, and give it that. And then you can just control C, go ahead here, and control V, which I'm not gonna do again, because I've already added this. Uh, and so we are, you can just go ahead into your blend space if you have any, and see what animations you're using. So I'm using fast run, I'm using uh, walk forward, I'm using, these are the idle animations. So obviously if you're standing still, you don't have footstep sounds, running backwards and uh, left strafe. So strafe, you can find them uh, and you can again come in here at notify and probably you can oh, not. new notify and then oh no just type in sound man type in sound and play sound here or you could just go ahead and since you still have it on your uh, con you can just control V and since you copied it once, you can again paste it. So this is the first method and this is gonna, if you add it for all the animations, when the animations are playing, you can't really hear it right now because it's not loud at all. Maybe, yeah, if you, you can hear it now, okay. Um, so this is the first method. The second method is going to be based on the surface type, which I wouldn't recommend you using it. I'm just going to go ahead and explain it. So first of all, to get it started, you have to go to the edit project settings uh, in the physics and go ahead in the physical surface and add as many surface as you want. I just wanted sand, stone and wood. So I just added these. I'm not using them though, I'm pretty satisfied with the random method. 
but you can go ahead and add for example sand on stone wood jungle water or whatever it's, that's completely up to you and after that you go into the to your materials folder right click physics and physical material right here and then choose this one select and then give it a name I've already created some so let's go into them so this is a uh, PM physical material underlying sand this surface type is gonna be sand this one right here so if you have more than one physical surface you have to create one for each so one is for sand one is for stone one's gonna be for wood one for water uh, and go on okay uh, after that you have to make sure that the materials that you are using are <coughs> using the physical material so go ahead into your material instance or in the material itself physics material and make sure that if it's a sand it's using the PM on the line sand the physical material that you've created for sand okay so when we've done that let's again go into our animation animations and you have to again add a notify for all the um, footsteps that you're gonna have in your animation but this time it's not just a sound it's gonna be a new not notify and let's call it foot or footstep or whatever I've already created footprint L it's for another video you can uh, find it in the description but uh, anyway I've already created it you can name it something else but I've already created the notify right now so we come here in the second foot that's, that's touching the ground right click and notify but this time instead of new notify we can just select it from here foot footprint L or right well it doesn't matter you can just go ahead and create a footstep I've created two for uh, another purpose doesn't really matter you just create footstep and then you uh, choose footstep from here for another uh, foot or you can just go ahead and control C and control V and you have to do it for all the animations that are um, going to have the footstep sound and after that you have to go into the animation blueprint and then whatever you've called the anim notify um, you have to for example you I've called it footprint so <coughs> uh, anim notify footprint right oh not this one <laughs> footprint right or probably left footprint left because I've deleted the left one and then right now I'm not doing it inside the anime blueprint I haven't set it up but I can show you how to set it up right now I'm doing something in the uh, character BP which as you can see I'm casting it to the third person character getting the play character will go to the object and then going into the footprint R so the procedure for the footsteps gonna be completely the same you have to line trace by channel the trace channel is gonna be visibility so line trace trace by channel uh, the start is going to be the mesh probably because this is uh, you don't need to you don't need to get the socket location so you can just go ahead or whatever get actor location and this is going to be your location from the start and then probably you can just subs subtract it by something like 200 and then this one goes into the end uh, you don't need to get the socket location that's I mean you can do that if you want to be really really precise but I mean you don't really need to so why would you want to do something that you don't need 
um, and after that you have to definitely create a branch from it and then get surface type switch on a physical surface and then you will play sound at the location the location is going to be where it's being hit the sounds gonna be the footstep this one and you'll do the same for stone wood water whatever so for example this is the stone we are going to use the uh, sc underlying stone which i haven't created and the location is going to be the same um and yeah but we don't really need that right now uh, I'm not using it I just told you how to use it and this is it um, and then if you are having different types of oh, whoa, look at that okay r dot streaming dot pool size 500 okay it's no it's So this is the random one. I'm not having a lot of surfaces, so I don't really need to have a lot of random e-physical type based um, footstep sounds. So this is more than enough for me. But if you want to do that, I've explained it how. So this was it. I hope you liked it. And if you did like it, please hit that like button. Have a great day. Bye.